Galvin Gaston of Northeastern Clinton Central School. It's the 19th day of March 2021, and we're here for CVAC Varsity Girls Basketball, a couple of the top teams in the league, Northeastern Clinton and the Saranac Central Miss Chiefs. George Dyer and Jamie Labarge will be your officials. We're expecting a close, hard-fought battle. Rebounded by Racine. And Holly Sample will bring it into the forecourt. Over to Bailey LaFountain. Bryn Sample. And shot thrown up. Rebounded by Peyton Kutcher. Kutcher trying to go coast to coast. Hits the bottom of the backboard. Hollister, Ali Hollister. Is it to Bryn Sample up to Marley Sample? Rob Guerin, the coach for the Cougars. Tim Newell, suffering from a pickleball injury, is here coaching the Saranac Central Miss Chiefs. Solister drives the paint, throws it up. Too strong and rebounded by Brenna Duquette. This is Reagan Mulverhill, number 10. Uh, out to Sydney Myers. Myers drives and we have a foul on sample. First foul of the game, 7.01 on the clock. Temperature about 30 degrees when we shut our vehicle off. And the weather's gonna be getting nothing but better after today with 40s and 50s, 12 spring starts. Mulverhill hits a long two-pointer. Spring starts tomorrow and it'll be in the upper 40s and then following that will be 50s and even some 60s on the horizon. Timeout. Next opportunity, we'll give you both the uh, entire rosters. There's Sample into the forecourt. It's to Racine. Skeen throws it up off the rim. Hollister rebounds and count the bucket. And we're going to have a foul on Allison Garman. For the Chiefs, uh, Reagan Mulberhill 10, Kennedy Ubel is 12, Leah Parker is 14. Ale Aislinn Liberty, 20, Sydney Myers, 24, Lexi Dennis, 22, Allison Garman, 34. And it's a three-point play for Hollister. Uh, Donna Duke at 40, Grace Riel, 44, and Peyton Kutcher, number 50. We'll give you the Cougars on our next opportunity. So Northeastern leading at 3-2. Nice move to the bucket there by uh, Garman. For Hollister, it's going to be knocked out of bounds by Myers. Sample will inbound it. Everybody wearing masks. So unless they uh, have a reason to be here, parents are not allowed at the games. So there are virtually no fans. I think we have one parent here tonight as uh, acting as scorekeeper. The rim rebounded by Myers. Myers races it down the floor. Has it slapped away, but picked up and in by Garmin. That's now 6-3 Saranac. Here comes Sample up to Hollister. Hollister gives it back to Sample. She goes low to Racine. Lacine's shot is missed, and Kutcher comes out with it. Hill to Kutcher. The scene and Kutcher here in the game is the two top candidates for MVP in this in this league. Here is Hollister, 520 showing. The scene throws it up. It's good. Long two for Abby Racine makes it 6-5. Five. five minutes and nine seconds to go first quarter. Off white. And Joe Lobdell sitting in the corner down there. From the Sun newspaper. Chiefs working the ball well. 
rolls in from Overhill. It's a friendly bounce. Friendly roll and bounce. 8 5 now, Serenac. Sample brings it up. Sample to Racine. The Fountain going to Racine. Racine. Travel. Garmin. Trying to slow down Racine. Duquette hands off from over here. Cougars take it away. Racine tips it to Sample. Uh, we've got uh, number 10, Bailey LaFountain. Uh, she did start. Okay. Racine's going to go to the line. Foul is on Mulverhill. She'll be shooting two. Hits the first. And that one bounces in. So it's eight, seven. assisting uh, Coach Rob Guerin. In the overhill. Seven on the shot clock. There's the rim and into the hands of the fountain. The fountain will bring it up. Gives it back to Racine. Sample, no. Myers with the rebound. Blocked, and it's Marley Sample. Over to Racine. Racine gets her sixth point of the game. Nine, eight Cougars. The first lead, I think. 2.50 to go in the quarter. And Kucher, hard to stop. Puts her team back up 10 9. There's Sample. Over to Sample. Racine. Hollister to Sample. One sample shot, rebounded Mulverhill. Two minutes and 12 seconds to go in the first quarter in a one point ball game. Blocked or deflected at least. Up to Sample. Sample throws it up and in. And Cougars regain the lead 11 10. Overhill. Uh, this is Duquette. Chiefs are able to keep it. Ten on the shot clock. Thrown up. Kutcher sticks with it and puts it in. Puts her team up 12-11. Seeing shot is blocked. Garmin gives to Moverhill. Underneath for Kucher. Too strong and rebounded Hollister. Hollister hands to Sample. 
fountain to Hollister to the fountain to a sample to the fountain and Marley sample put it up off the rim rebounded Mulberryhill. Butcher no. Garmin, Garmin is on the line, two subs in, 20 and 44. So Aislinn Liberty and Grace Riel in for the Miss Chiefs, 31 seconds to go in the first quarter. Saranac up by a point. Ellie Prairie in for the Cougars. Here's Racine, give her eight. 13, 12 Cougars. Four seconds, Prairie. Oh, Cougars with a one point lead after one. We'll quickly give you their roster here. Chelsea Guerin, 20, Abby Racine, 41, Bryn Sample, four, Marley Sample, 14, Maya Kreller, uh, two, Ali Hollister, 11, Ellie Prairie, 13, Emily Trombley, 15, Desiree Dubois, 23, Bailey LaFountain, 10, and Great Lacey Roberts, number 12. Cougars with a one-point lead have the ball to start the second quarter. Sample into the fountain. The same. And traveling called. So it'll be inbounded by Liberty and she'll give it to Duquette. Duquette will bring it into the forecourt. Liberty at the point, given the over hello uh, breather. Thirteen twelve Cougars. Eleven on the shot clock. The red ball. Liberty to inbound it. Look at over the corner that was uh, Liberty trying to take the shot, and the shot clock is still ticking down. And shot clock elapses. There was no change of possession there, so the shot clock kept ticking. And Marley Sample up to Hollister. Looks underneath for Racine. Racine turns, spins, and rolls off the rim. Rebounded by LaFountain. Now Racine again off the rim and it's going to be off, off LaFountain, I guess. Bailey LaFountain. So Liberty will get it back from Duquette. And we're a minute into the second quarter. Score holding at 13-12 Cougars. If, uh, for the pandemic, these bleachers that are not aren't even open across the way from us would be jam-packed with fans. This would be a highly anticipated ball game. Sample. And bounce to Hollister. Cross court to LaFountain. LaFountain for three. Nope, and Sample can't keep it in play. 6.30 showing here, and we got uh, Garmin back in. She replaces Riel, and action continues. Liberty, over to Garmin. Garmin puts it up in traffic, we're seeing with the rebound. Sample up to Hollister. We're seen for three, yes. Number 11 on the night. 16 12 the score. Four point lead for the Cougars. That's their biggest lead. I think one had been their biggest lead. That'll be a foul. 
Number 10, that'll be LaFountain. Her first team first here in the second quarter. And it'll be a shooting foul that's going to send Sydney Myers to the charity strike. She'll be shooting two. Five fifty showing. Missed them both for seen with their board. Sample. Up to the bounds, off Liberty. The fountain puts it to the floor. Drives the paint, looking for Hollister. Five thirty-five here in the second quarter. Everybody into the forecourt. Well, it's fast. Garmin goes underneath for Kutcher, and Sample's going to pick up the foul. That'll be her second. Oh, it's on number ten. It'll be on the fountain. Her second. Almost stolen, it is stolen. A sample now thrown up by Hollister and foul off by Ducat is going to send Hollister to the charity stripe. Oh, Hollister at the line. And we're going to get Mulverhill back in. And uh, Parker, Leah Parker. Them both. Rebound Kutcher. When a close game ends, you always count your, your missed fouls. Overhill. Shot was taken by Parker. And the white ball. Third inbound, Chiefs will press. And the sample. 447 on the clock here, second quarter action. Last full day of winter 2021. Same shot. Rebounded Hollister. Hollister in the in heavy traffic. Audi Hollister makes it 18-12, six point to the lead. 427. Gets to, keeps the ball for the Miss Chiefs. Stolen by LaFountain. LaFountain turns, spins, throws it up and in. Nice, beautiful move by Bailey LaFountain. We're going to have a Saranac timeout. The Cougar lead is at eight points here. The Chiefs have not scored yet in the second quarter. Overhill. Parker out back out to Mulverhill. Kucher. Myers throws it up and fouls off the rim. Rebounded Garmin and makes the call. Marley Sample, it'll be her second, I believe. Oh, her first. Her first. Team third here in the second quarter. So it sends Parker to the line. Yeah, 
Mister comes up with it, up to Sample. And the Chiefs remain scoreless here in the second quarter. And a basket by Bryn Sample makes it 22-12, 10-point Cougar lead. These teams will face each other next week in Saranac. Pushed up to Racine, should be an easy two, and it is. And give her 13 of the 24. She's now outscored Saranac. 2.53 to go in the half. Saranac still looking for their second, first second half point, second quarter points, I should say, and they're gonna come at the foul line here as, as Kutcher will hit at least one, probably two. And we got who we got in here. Parker replaced by Duquette. Fouls on Hollister, her first, team fourth. Which are shooting two. Keeps the cold streak going for the uh, Miss Chiefs at the charity strike. And there's your first second quarter point for Saranac. 24-13 with a Cougar timeout. Hollister. Into the forecourt. Find Sample over to the scene. And Myers couldn't save it. Marley Sample inbound. Never seen. Sample. Travel called. Looks like we got a travel from, from the Press Republican here now. Then Jill and Julie Martin, Raul, who's at the other end. Doing video photos for the Booster Club. Julie's, Julie's hiding in that doorway. Mobile Hill out, and we got 32. Lexi Dennis in. Red ball. Garmin, three foul by Racine. One fifty-five, showing in the second quarter. Allison Garmin at the line. Makes the first. Hits them both, so Chiefs have three points in the second quarter, all from the foul line. And the ball is in the hallway. Sample to end up. Takes it to Sample. Racine turns into the hands. Of Duca. Duca brings it up. Look out. <laughs> Foul on Kutcher. Her sec. Oh, no. Yes, her second. Offensive foul. A minute and a half to go in the, qu in the second quarter. Rebounded Hollister. Hollister turns, fills it up in heavy traffic. And we have a whistle, probably Myers. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Ducat had that foul, not uh, uh, Kucher. <laughs> This one's on Kucher. The second. Also hits the first. Now Hollister hits them both. 26 15. Sanak still looking for that elusive first field goal of the second quarter. Shot is short. That was Dennis taking the shot. 102 to go in the second quarter. 26 15. The scene. Let's see a step to the line. Who's it on? That'd be Kucher's third foul. And she'll sit for the remainder of the half. Grace Riel will come in. Ellie Prairie is in for the Cougars. And we're seeing shooting two. Uh, I think she's got 14 now. 27 15. Thrown in, there it is. Brianna Ducat hits the first field goal in the second quarter for Saranac. We're at 33 seconds right now. 27 17, 10 point Cougar lead. Sample. This is it back for Hollister. Hollister goes underneath for LaFountain, and LaFountain throws it in. Nice strong move by Bailey LaFountain. 29 17, 12 seconds to go in the half. Air ball, pull down Hollister, five seconds. Hollister on the fly, look out, offensive foul. Garmin held her ground and offensive foul. That'll be her second. Six tenths of a second. So a 12 point Cougar lead, 29 17 at the half here on viewer supported hometown cable. Cougar ball. 12 point lead at the half, but that, that can evaporate rather quickly. Garmin picks up the foul. He's going to send Bailey LaFountain to the line. It's the first. Hits them both. Overhill into the forecourt. And Myers, Myers throws it up. Christine with the rebound. <laughs> Unless something uh, changes in the very near future, there will be no playoffs. CVAC basketball teams. The MVAC is going to have a playoff. And uh, so 
guess the regular season, if you got the uh, best record, you'll be uh, you'll be the champion. <clears throat> Jump ball called. Duquette to inbound it. Butcher out to Garmin, back to Duquette. Inbounded by Myers, and we're going to have a foul. Foul will be on Bryn Sample. Her first. Myers makes the first. And Chiefs keep it. Myers rebound nicely by Sample. Quick fingers. Same shot too strong. Here comes Myers. Myers drives, puts it up too strong, and <laughs> look at the fountain get that ball. Uh, snuck her hand in there and tapped it away. And uh, the Chiefs were trying to decide which one of them would grab it. And, uh, the fountain took it away. 31 18, 6 24 showing here in the third quarter. Racine to Sample, Bryn Sample with the bucket. 33-18 Cougars, 15 point lead. Overhill. Six on the shot clock. Myers throws it up and lays it in. Nice move to the basket by Sidney Myers. That's a 33-20. Hollister. Penetrates, dishes off, and hands it on a bounce to Racine. So it's 35 to 20. Meyer scores, and the Cougars take a timeout. They're leading 35-22 with 5-14 showing in the third quarter. Sample the inbound. And to the fountain. Finds Bryn Sample. This is off to Hollister. And pass picked off by Duquette. Kutcher comes up short, but nice follow by Myers. There's Marley Sample. 35-24. Stolen away. By Duquette and now the foul on the Cougars. Foul's on the fountain. Is that her second? That's her third. Bailey LaFountain picks up her third foul. They got uh, Liberty back in from Overhill. 4.41 on the clock. Chiefs down by 11. A three-pointer would make it eight. Slapped away. By Sample. Here comes Hollister up to Marley Sample. Sample too strong and the Chiefs get it. Myers off the window and it's a nine point ball game. Cougar timeout 404 left in the third. 
Well, Saranac has taken three points off that 12 point Cougar lead. There's the fountain. Sample, over to Sample. Hollister. Rolls it up. Drops it in. Nice, strong move by Audie Hollister. 37 26 Cougars. This is Liberty. Liberty to Kucher. And rebounded by LaFountain. Sample. Two sample. Marley sample for three. New. Duquette gives to Liberty. Liberty into the four court. We're down to 307. And over and back. Pitcher dishes off and it's going to be off Real. Five seconds to get it in. Over to Racine. Slapped out by Riel. Sample to get it in. Turn it into LaFountain. She gives it up to Sample. Early Sample underneath. To Bailey LaFountain. And another two for LaFountain. 39 26. with 60% of the points. No foul. Off white. And we got Leah Parker back in. She's replacing Duquette. Red ball. Parker to inbound. Or maybe not. The shot is going to go out of bounds. It'll be off white, says Jamie Lavarge. Myers to inbound. Get to Liberty. 2 15 in the third. Slapped away by Racine. And we're going to have a foul. On Myers. Two oh eight on the clock. Sample into sample. Little fountain. Hollister. Riley Sample to Racine. Bryn Sample, no. Eight on the shot clock. Hollister, no. And she's come out with it. Liberty. Up to Kucher. Two pointer, long two for Kucher. 39 28, one minute and 24 seconds to go. In the third quarter, there's Hollister. Sample drives the baseline. No. Rebounded by Liberty, and the foot was on the line. Subs in for the Chiefs, Mulverhill and Garmin. 112 on the clock, 26 on the shot clock. Blocked. Here comes Moverhill. Bounce pass to Myers. Foul on Bryn Sample. <laughs> 104 on the clock. Second foul on Sample. Yeah. 
Oh, Matt. Ten point difference. And Myra's second shot is off the rim. Off, knocked out by Kutcher. Chiefs will press. And to Marley Sample. Fouls on Garmin. Blocking foul. 30 second timeout. Garmin's third foul. Then Sample hits the first. And rattles that one in. Back to a 12 point Cougar advantage. Overhill into the forecourt. Stolen by Sample, Marley Sample. Steal and layup by Marley Sample. Here's Kutcher. And Myers, Myers throws it up and in, a three-pointer. On the top of the arc, or close to the top of the arc at least. 43-32. Three seconds to avoid a backcourt violation here. Ten seconds to get it into the forecourt. Hollister. And Bryn Sample throws in a quick shot. Three seconds to go in, in the third. Kucher on the fly. Count it. Peyton Kucher on the fly. Off the window. 45, 35, Cougars by 10 at their three here on viewer supported hometown cable. The Chiefs take it away to start the fourth quarter. Liberty over to Myers and rebounded by LaFountain. Up to Hollister. Hollister puts it up short. It's going to be a red ball. Butcher. <laughs> Myers sneaks in there and gets the ball. I think the air ball kind of, <laughs> kind of surprised the Cougars. And, uh, Myers is able to sneak in there. It makes it an eight-point ball game. <clears throat> and uh, fourth foul on the fountain. It's now a seven point game. It's a, it's a three point play. Chiefs will continue the press, looking for the comeback here in the fourth. Game's certainly not over at this point. A lot of ball to play here. Here's Sample. Foul on the Cougars, or was it a foul? Well, it was just out of bounds, I guess. No foul, I don't see any fouls on the scoreboard. And Sidney Myers has made it a four point ball game with a three pointer, 45-41.
Cougars could probably use a timeout right now. Underneath for Racine, Racine scores over Garmin. 47-41, 6.24 to go in the game. Turnaround, Kucher. 47-43. Up for Racine. And Racine is fouled. <coughs> Fouls on Garmin. That'll be her fourth. Garmin will sit and Parker will come in for her. Racine misses them both. Red ball. Four point ball game. <clears throat> Red ball. Three pointer would make it a one point game. Liberty. Over to Myers. Myers. Back out to Liberty. Over to Duquette underneath. Kutcher finds Myers. For three. And Cougars still not calling that timeout. Their lead is down to one point. Not sure what their timeout situation is. There it is. Cougar timeout. They led. 45-35 after three. Chiefs are on an 11-2 run here to <clears throat> the first two and a half minutes of the fourth quarter. Momentum is certainly in their favor at the moment. Inbound to Sample. Hollister spins. And we're gonna have a jump up and down. A trouble. So a chance for Serenat to take the lead. They're trailed by 10 coming into the quarter. Myers has been deadly from that spot over there. And there she goes. Air ball pulled down by LaFountain. Gives it to Sample. Marley Sample pushes it up for Racine. Bryn Sample. Back to Marley for three. Yes! A big, big bucket for the Cougars. Is it a uh, Sample three-pointer? Sample three-pointer. Uh, was a temporary, at least temporary, and to their drought. Four thirty-six and counting here in the fourth quarter. Fifty forty-six. Slapped out by Bryn Sample. She's got four fouls. Liberty. For three, Brianna Duke, Brenna Duquette, not Brianna, Brenna Duquette. Makes it a one point game again. Off Fountain. Bailey Off Fountain with another bucket. She stepped up big tonight, 53 49. Under four to go. We've got 350 on the clock. Garmin, blocked by Racine. Sample will get points for the takedown. Mulverhill back in, 3.41 to go. Cougars up 
12 on the shot clock when the ball was inbound. Duquette, back to Moverhill. With the shot clock ticking down, Sidney Myers throws in yet another three-pointer to make it a one-point game again. Chiefs have battled back to make it one point several times here in the fourth. And a chance now to take the lead if <laughs> Myers can find a handle, and she does. And now Saranac leads 54-53. Cougars race it down the floor. Racine puts the Cougars up 55-54. We're at two minutes and 53 seconds to go in the game. A one-point ball game. Overhill to Duquette. Too strong. Rebound. Rebound Hollister. She is tied up. Jump ball. 244 remaining in the game. Ball comes into Sample. Sample guarded by Kucher. Racine for three. Heavy Racine. She showed us time and time again. She's uh, just as deadly outside as she is on the inside. Thrown up. Rebound, Kucher. It's good. 58-56. Could we lead at two with 2.11 to go. Sample into the forecourt. And we're going to have a foul on Kucher. That'll be her third. 2.05 on the game clock. Into La Fountain. La Fountain guarded closely, gives to Sample. Bryn Sample. <clears throat> Hands it over to Racine. Back to Bryn Sample in the paint. And she is fouled. Fouls on Mulverhill. Maybe, maybe her third? Let's see. <clears throat> Second. 58 56, 148 on the clock. What's the problem? It was an official timeout because there was a question on the score. So it's really a one point Cougar lead, 57 to 56 with 148 to go. <clears throat> Sample misses the first. It's the second. <clears throat> As we said earlier in the game, in a close ball game, you'll always look back at foul shots and say, if only if we made one more. Stolen by LaFountain <clears throat> at 1.33 to go. 23 on the shot clock. Racine dishes it off. Racine with the rebound, count the basket. A four-point Cougar lead, 116 on the clock. Stolen by Racine, knocked out of bounds. Myers to inbound. Into Liberty. One away six. Too strong. It went through Kucher's fingers. Hollister. <clears throat> Gives to Sample, Cougar timeout. With the four point lead, I probably wouldn't have called the timeout. Those Rob Garen decided to call the timeout. <clears throat> that gives you a chance to talk to your team, but also gives the defense a chance to talk to <clears throat> their side. And I'm looking for a quick foul here on the Saranac's part. 
or they may not have gotten it otherwise. The fountain. Now the Cougars will try to take some time off. <clears throat> There's the foul. <clears throat> That's four fouls. Be a one and one on the fifth. 49.2, new, sh new shot clock. Five seconds to get it in, to get it into Racine. And knowing that they want the foul, <clears throat> oh, Garmin may have just fouled out. Yep. <clears throat> Another timeout. Racine shooting a one and one. <clears throat> she can make it a six point lead or it could re remain a four point lead or become a five point lead. Well, I'm shooting two. I thought she was shooting one and one, but not shooting two. And this is the second. Well, it's the five point option. 61 56. Kucher drives, throws, blocked. No foul. And sample is fouled. 38.8 remaining. Kucher, is that her fourth? Yep. Okay, when the heroes get to the fifth, it's a two shots. The boys, it's the seventh foul and a half. It's a one and one. And on the tenth, it's two. So <laughs> confuses a, somebody like me who hasn't seen a lot of games this year. Good, strong move by Myers, put up by Kucher. Myers again, blocked by Racine. And 16 seconds to go. Six point Cougar lead up to Bryn Sample. Uh, eight seconds. Cougars will not shoot unless they're fouled. Hollister. And that's the ball game. Great comeback for Saranac Central. And they forced the Cougars to make their own comeback and end up with a 62 56 win. And that's the way it was on this last full day of winter. 20 21, you're watching viewer supported local television, hometown cable. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.